Hi, I'm Shipra, and I'm here to talk to you about young children and the education of young children. I think the most joyous thing about working with children is to witness the excitement, their sense of wonder, the curiosity when they engage with the world around them. How playful children are, even when they're most seriously trying to put pieces of puzzle together. How vulnerable when they let you take care of them and how so resilient when they practice a skill a hundred times before they come any close to mastering it. For a person working with young children, a question then arises, what significance do we attach to early childhood development and learning and how inspired you feel about creating stimulating learning experiences for children that will promote the well-being of the little ones. Early childhood education or ECE caters to children in the age group of three to eight years, which are also termed as the foundational years of learning in research and policy, strongly stated in the recent new education policy as well. A large number of children in our countries, country attend ECE settings such as preschools, anganwaris by the government and balwaris run by NGOs. A large number of them go through these settings every day without having the chance to construct knowledge by actually engaging in things around them, of having someone who listens to their ever so wondrous questions about things they keep witnessing every day. Instead, they may be subjected to instructions on how to sit properly, pay attention, listen to the teachers and learn their ABCs to be ready for school. EC is not just a program for school readiness, certainly not. It is a significant environment for learning that children enter beyond their home and neighborhood context. A good learning environment for children should provide them opportunities to explore by acting upon things in the environment where adults form relationships with children that are collaborative in nature. They listen to them, they pay attention to their thinking processes and facilitate their learning. It lays the foundation for all later learning. The seeds of creativity, problem solving, analytical thinking, and other skills are sown in this period. No wonder an EC practitioner needs an education about how children develop, how they think, learn, form relationships, make conversations, question, develop a sense of self, and find their way around the world. They need education about what is a stimulating environment for a young child, what can be the content of learning and how can it be taught, which means how can one facilitate scaffold learning for young children. We also need to be abreast with the policies and programs related to EC and how these shape provisions and policies. Critical understanding of these processes is imperative for effective engagement as a professional in ECE. They may be teachers, teacher educators, running their own school or working on different aspects of ECE such as curriculum development, writing storybooks or working in the area of child advocacy. The program at Azim Premji University offer courses in the area of ECE that cater to all these aspects and more. There is a strong field component where students practice their learning, observe work directly um, in EC settings in form of long-term and short-term engagements. Issues of diversity, access, quality, and inclusion are integral to all forms of learning in the coursework. So if learning about children, working with them, or working with EC teachers in the settings interests you, arouse a sense of curiosity in you about the child's world, then the courses will help you understand the domain and enable you to become informed ECE practitioners. Thank you.